Welcome back. So starting out the week, uh, one of the things I wanted to do was get this intake scoop sorted out. So as you can see here, I've actually drilled a second hole there closer to the top hole and also added nut plates to the back of this bracket because the problem that I had with the this way we had this design was there wasn't a way to install this thing easily. So putting the two bolts at the top there allows me to have the scoop extended and get to both of those bolts from the outside and with nut plates on the back side not having to reach around and try and grab the nut so they will basically appear um, when it's down there kind of like below this flange here and when it comes up they'll appear here and be visible and accessible so I've been thinking for a while how to do this and this was the solution so nut plates on the back of those brackets and um, just lift the, the top or the bottom bolt up so it's closer to the top one so that that, that hole there is where they would normally live uh, when the thing is retracted and obviously you can't get to them there so when it's up you'll see in a second there when I've got it installed what I mean but uh, this was uh, something that I needed to do and I've been trying to figure out the solution like anything it take a while and that's the rear mounting point um, and there's just there's a hard point in underneath there and three A and three bolts that hold the rear of it on there so ready to go on now now that I've got that bracket done so as you can see looking up through here in the baggage compartment you can see the linear actuator there is now mounted to the mount that we put in a long time ago and so that's all hard hard mounted there and ready to go and it's poking up through that little bracket in the top there which goes here and there you can see there's the rest of the bracket there now and it's sort of pivoting around that linear actuator so there's quite a bit of movement in it until it gets bolted up to uh, the intake scoop so as you can see there those holes now are above that line and this is what it looks like now with it installed and I forgot to get a close-up video uh, showing the bolts and that but there you can see it's actually going down so I'm using the little overhead switch there to put it down and then back up again so it's working <laughs> and I jumped up on there and I was pulling on that thing to see if it had any movement in there and it's pretty solid with the way it's all mounted and, and the way the, f the loads are sort of driven in through there when it's tucked down like that you can't even move it uh, when it's up it has a little bit of uh, sort of sideways well, I don't say sideways it can rotate a little bit one way or the other um, but it's pretty solid I don't think it's going to come off under any aerodynamic loads at all and you know Mark had obviously done the engineering on it for us but uh, there you can see it going up and down so that's that job done and I can actually test it now when I do taxi testing and uh, see how well it performs in terms of uh, how much cooling air we get in the engine with it closed and with it open and I got a bit of a surprise this afternoon uh, the guys had this stuff ready for me at the machine shop across the way so went and picked it up at 4.30 and they've drilled the holes out there and they've trimmed the flange off there for me and drilled also those center holes there that match uh, the center boss that has the spline drive there matches those six holes so my next job was to just check it all and make sure that everything lined up nicely all the holes so this is uh, putting the, the longer bolts that I bought and they're kind of nice little blue tinge on these ones which is interesting putting those all in and making sure that they all uh, line up nicely and it looks good and I measured for center and it looks like it's all nicely centered and uh, same with this one and put the three bolts in there and was able to put like a a uh, fourth one in the remaining three holes without any problems so uh, that looks like that's all lined up so next job is uh, to paint that coupling quickly that guy there because um, it's just sort of raw metal right now paint that real quick so I can get it installed tomorrow and there it is uh, just paint, uh, painting it with some uh, sort of primer and paint all in one in a gloss black so I'm uh, just putting a few coats on there to get that done and uh, while that's going on uh, had to shorten those bolts a little bit they're a little bit too long and I knew they were going to be so I did the first one already and I got the other five to do but I knocked that out before the end of the day uh, as you'll see here in a second and uh, lastly I want to let you know too I'm going to be putting out um, a series of four videos that are kind of like a walkthrough of the aircraft and the first one will be probably published shortly after this one 
and the others will sort of spread out over the course of uh, the next two weeks with Oshkosh going on because I'm not sure I'll be having much other video come out because uh, I'll be away. Uh, anyway, so that's your update and enjoy those um, videos of the walkthrough and uh, we'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks again for watching.